Hi, in this video I'm going to walk you through the Project Quick Start Lightning App Builder. We're going to go through all three steps in this video. This project is part of the Super Badge Lightning Experience Report and Dashboard Specialist prerequisites. Let's get to it. The first step is create your first page. Lightning App Builder lets developers and business users build custom user interfaces that are designed to work perfectly on your desktop and mobile devices, all without writing a single line of code. My guess is is that's why this quick start is included as a prerequisite for the Lightning Experience Report and Dashboard Specialist Super Badge, because part of what you're gonna be doing there is creating dashboards. So this gives you a chance to practice some of the drag and drop features that you have uh, later on. That's my guess, otherwise, you know, why are we building an app right before having to do reports and dashboards? Not so sure. Anyhow, here we go. Create your first page. A Lightning page is a container for Lightning components Okay, it's not really a container, it's just a page. It's a, but you add lightning components to it, which are just things that help you do stuff. Launch your trailhead playground. By dear God, I hope by this point in your uh, trailhead, if you're going through the admin certification process, hopefully you've come across this already. If not, okay, enter lightning app builder in the quick find box and select lightning app builder. Let's go do this. And we're gonna click new. And then click new. Select app page, then next, and in the label field type field sales app. So app page, then next, field sales app, click next. In create new lightning page, select two regions, then click finish. Okay. Now you have a page, you can add components. Your first component, drag a filter list component onto the page. In the two desktop dropdown list, click table portrait. The canvas preview layout page, page preview layout changes from the standard single column to two columns. Tablet portrait. Cool. From the standard components menu on the left, drag the list view to the left column. Set the properties of the component using the properties list on the right sidebar. In the object drop down list, select account and then filter select my accounts and then we're in display seven so that's account my account and and click save all right and then it says click save and then not yet in the pop-up window i might do that out of order Next unit, add more components. This time you'll add a recent items component, which you'll configure to display recent opportunities and leads. From the standard menu to the left, drag recent items to the right column. In the prospect inspector, right type opportunities and leads for the label. So let's do this. We're gonna go to grab recent items. And we're gonna put that over into the right one and label, we're gonna do opportunities and leads. And then click select under the objects and highlight API anomaly event store from the selected column to the right. And then we're gonna remove that and then we're gonna click and add opportunity.
All right, let's try to do this right here, but we're gonna check anyhow. Final step, add quick actions and activate the app. Add quick actions and configure the app, the page. Quick actions, I would have, would have liked a different title here. Quick actions allow users to create and modify records. After you have the actions, you activate the lighting page as an app, which makes it available to mobile users. In the page sidebar, click page to configure the app properties. At the bottom, click select under actions. Click log a call and use the right arrow to add the quick action to the selected list. Repeat for new case, lead, and task. So log call, new case, new lead, new task. Log call new case newly new task. Click OK. And then click save. Activate the app. Wouldn't it be nice if this was in caps? So we had like add quick actions, activate, check it out, uh, no, whatever. Click activation. On the page settings type, type field sales app for the app name. Here it is. Should already be defaulted, leave all their defaults as is. On the mobile navigation tab, click add page to app button. And then drag field sales app icon and place it below the today icon. Now check out your app. Now click save. Click back. And then we're going to do go to the app launcher. Fill cells app. There it is. That's it.